stories. These are this is the, this is uh, this is a typical Sunday story. It's in the it's in the Observer. It's mm -hmm. a long piece by a guy who wrote a paper. His name is Joseph Mertz. Mertz, mm -hmm. which is a funny name because it was that guy Fred and Ethel Mertz who were the neighbors and the honeymooners in America. Jackie Gleason. Oh, okay. So it was considered a funny name even in America in the 1950s. The Mertz. Who does he work for, Lewis? He works. Would you stop it? He works for. He works for the Mertz, the Mertz <laughs> Institute. Institute. Oh, so it's totally impartial. Go on, carry An on. institution <laughs> that researches. Basically, he says there's huge climate change, and we got to do something about climate change, because there are too many people, and we've got to do. We've got to eliminate. These climate change people, they hate, basically, they're not climate change. They're using the excuse of so-called climate change to kill us. They want you dead. They want Louis Shea. They want my friend Paul. And even, even Simon, who hates my guts. He just... So what, <laughs> yes. they, he's talking about three levers of overshoot, which yes. is an oh. interesting expression. Consumption, waste, and population. Now... Consumption and waste, obviously, I, I understand that, is basically saying that we extract yeah. more from the earth than it can afford to give it eventually. So uh, you either waste. consume it or you waste it, and that, I understand, those are the two halves no, of what's no, extracted. No, no, well, explain that to me. Explain how you can take more from the earth. Are we going to use it the current doesn't exist anymore? There's no yeah, the current... There's yeah. a big hole in the earth? that we've used too much of the Earth, that the Earth is going to disappear because we've used too much of it? His theory, I don't know whether, whether you would accept it or agree with it, but I'm presumably he's, he's produced some evidence to support it, yeah. is that there is we currently need 1.7 Earths to maintain the consumption of resources at the current level. And people have been talking about this. I know they've overstretched, you know, the Club of Rome and so on, yeah. uh, create uh, a fear about whether we're going to run out of oil or whether we're going to run out of food. India was supposed to have gone through starvation decades ago. And, of course, we've always just... Just in time, invented new fertilisers, or we've invented new forms of energy, and so on. We, we just keep pace with it. But there is, a, there is, a, 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 I understand, a conceivable proposition that the extent of consumption that's been popular in the West for some long, from some decades now, if you were to roll that out around the Earth and all the people of the Earth were to expect to run cars yeah. and enjoy central heating and air conditioning at the level that we've got used to, that would take more resources and than is available. You think, and but, no, here's think... my point. He is, his third one is population. He is actually okay, actively pick, talking what? about depopulation. Exactly. OK, let's pick one of those three. You pick the first one. I'll just defend the first one. The first one is we've got an unlimited amount of oil practically in this country. We're hundreds, if not thousands of years away from using all the oil. And so what if we use all the oil? It doesn't mean the earth is going to disappear. We'll just have fewer people because that, then there won't be enough food so we will just shrink naturally. We don't have to worry about it. What do you think, Paul? Behavioural crisis? Sort of stuff? Um... I think, first of all, I think the Earth's going to be fine. I'm not worried about the Earth. It's humans. No. Yeah. I mean, let, let, all, all, all this idea that people are worried about the Earth, I find fascinating, because they're, they're actually worried about themselves. They like to put it in those terms. Yeah, they have to in order to, to achieve what they want to achieve. A cynic to key, I think they, it's They've called. taken a very good philosophy, i.e., you know, uh, give what you take, take what you give, uh, with the Earth and, our, and the resources that it offers, and they've turned it in to a whopping great bat to beat us all up with. Right. And this is where I start to lose faith with it, faith with it. Should I say? He he says we need to become more mindful of the way we are being manipulated. I agree with him, just not in the way he, he intends yes. it to us. I think we are being manipulated a lot of the time. He talks about overshoot, so that anything we do is never quite going to be good enough. And for this kind of person and doctrine and ideology, things are never going to be enough. So yeah. it doesn't matter what you do. If you achieve, let's just take you, Les, for instance. At the moment, if your car's over 2015, you're all right. Let's get to a point in London where every car you there is you, Les, compliant. You're telling me then they're just going to stop charging people? No, of course not. The, exactly. So that's what's going to happen. It's going to be like this. USB sockets. As soon as you have them installed around the house, they'll change the shape of them. So Absolutely. I'm quite cynical about this, and I believe that it's, it's just another attempt to control us. Yeah.